Hey, what's going on, my gilded brethren? Today I'm bringing you this effect right here. This, it, I don't want to call it advanced, but if you have no clue about this lighting effect, it is advanced. You see this right here? Check it out. It looks like he's in the subway or something. This is just a, uh, I was bored and made this one night for one of my boys, man. But um, this is just a little picture, makeshift. It's not, a, it's not an album cover. But it's just, man, for promotional use. But yeah, these lighting effects up here is what I'll be showing you all today. It's um, it's kind of like gradient, the gradient tool, but you can do a lot more. It's 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 more versatile than the gradient tool, just because you can have these are all independent. These are lights. These are lights that are rendered. Um within Photoshop, but I'm gonna show you. You see this gradient or this cool gradient right here? I have another one too. Check this out. This was just I was this was just some quick stuff right here. This is isn't anywhere near as good as that one. That one didn't take that long either, but check it out. Check out the double shadow. Peep that. Uh that's independent of the uh light rendering. That was um totally separate from the light rendering, but I made it look like it was actually projecting the double shadow because the light is coming from over here and also from up top. But yeah, this is what I'll be showing you all today. And what I want you to do is open. Um, really, I want you to open a picture. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and find um, that that uh, that brick texture because it's nice. I like I like modifying the brick texture. I'm going to open up the brick texture really quick. Uh, hold on. Uh, within the world. My computer isn't cooperating. Back, back to the brick texture. Bam. Oh, it's opening. But it's opening within this because it's already open. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit out of, out of this. Matter of fact, I'm going to save it first. Because I like that. I like it. So I'm about to exit out of this. Now I'm gonna open up this brick texture, man. Come on, man. All right, here we go. All righty, and before you do anything, I started off every picture when I modified um, using this this lighting effect. I went up to uh, to image adjustments and I desaturated it. Basically, turned it black and white. It's not basically. That's what I did. I turned black and white with gray and white. It, it's gray and white, but um. Yeah, that, that that's what you how you start off. You desaturate the picture, and then you go up here to filter, render. Go down here to lighting effects, and um, let me delete these lights. Let me delete these. Uh, all right, you need at least one light. And to create lights, you can um, you can either go up here. Whoops. Okay, you can't go up there. Since I have it selected, let's see some. Hold on, hold on. Whoops. But all right, let me show you something else. Um, I didn't mean to do that. See, let's go back to filter, render, lighting effect. See, I'm messing up. This is all real time. I'm messing up, man. It happens. Nobody's perfect. But here, how you, this is how you create uh, new lights up here. And there's three types of lights. This right here is a spotlight. You can create this light also. It's a point. It's like, it's just, it's right on. Like, let's see something real quick. This is a point light that you can also use. It's just, it's just, it's just a right on. It's right on. I'm going to delete the point light though. And then we have this light. This light, the infinite light. This is uh, kind of like a, a point light, but you can uh, you can determine its intensity by where it's looking at. And you can create, like it casts shadows. It's kind of lightweight cast shadows. But yeah, there, those are the three lights. Point light, infinite light, and the spotlight. I am very fond of the spotlight so I'm gonna show you how to modify this and this is just the basics don't think this is the only way you can use it because it's not I'm gonna show you uh, these controls over here 
I'll show you how uh, it's kind of like the gradient tool but I prefer this to the gradient tool because it's just it's it's I prefer it. it's you know my personal preference I like it but look check this out you see how the white is the light is white right now this is how you control the hot spot light bam you in the red light district now you change the whole mood of the scene man whole mood has changed but also watch this once you change the uh you can change the 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 ambient this right here the expose this colorize right here is controlled the intensity is controlled by ambiance you see that see what i'm saying when i say it's like gradient but but you see the gradient but it's like it's just better man to me it is better i prefer it to the gradient tool it adds a much more creative effect that you don't see that often i didn't until i did like i, I never paid attention to uh the you know the special effects on um you know album covers um just random stuff you see and when i first did this effect it was nice i was like oh i never seen that before this is like the gradient tool but better you know what i'm saying but better and you know this is how you control the outside the ambiance you can make it dark you can make the light uh, the intensity of the hot spot you control with intensity hot spot size you can lengthen lengthen, lengthen that these controls right here you can make it big it looks crazy now I'm just I'm just messing around you know showing you the basics and these two right here this glass effect and I really don't focus too much on these the glass and metallic because I don't care about these two effects it doesn't really you know matter that much as far as the effect I'm trying to give off you know look it kind of controls the intensity a little bit but not so much because that you crank it up way way high up here the intensity and look uh hot spot control that but yeah this is just uh the lighting effect i wanted to show you all you can i'm gonna hit okay matter of fact let me show you this first they have presets also presets you could throw three of them in there there's three random ones throw five of them i use this on the uh the make the promotional use uh cover i showed you all but yeah, presets also utilize all of this. I, I just wanted to bring this to light. I don't know if you all um, knew about this this um, effect in Photoshop, the uh, render lighting effects. But uh, you can create some as as nice as this. I think this is quite nice. Uh, my boy thought it was nice too. He made it his uh, Facebook profile because it was it was just it was that nice. But yeah, um, this is what I wanted to show you all today. Uh, Filter, render, lighting effects. Advanced lighting effects. This is what I'm going to call this one. But hey, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you don't have Photoshop CS6, man, check out the description. I'm going to have discounted links links to discounted uh, prices on these products, man. Um, like, subscribe, tell your buddies. But hey, thank you all for watching. Have a happy YouTube and day. Take care.